They're here. They can't call the cops. What are you gonna tell them? First things first. Your daughter is here, and she's alive. This development was built on a cemetery. But this isn't just a few pissed off spirits. It's a poltergeist. I would like to start by talking about a little bit of what happens in your house in the movie. Yeah, well, we move into one of those kind of groovy old 80s houses, and we're downgrading from sort of the bigger house that we couldn't afford. and. And We're suffering from a recession, and uh, I have a little bit of a drinking problem. I've been laid off. And yeah, we're both out of work, yeah. but our kids love the house. Like, right off the bat, we don't know this, but our daughter runs in and starts hearing somebody talking to her through the closet, and she's very excited, and she skips back down the hallway and says, Mommy, Daddy, we love this house, and so we go with it. And how do you think this movie is different from the version we saw in 1982? Well, technology has a big role in it. I it's mean, in 3D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. 3D, that means I'm going to get really scared. But was it scary for you guys to shoot? Did anything weird happen on set while you guys were shooting? Sam scared me when we had to do a sex scene and he was wearing tight red underwear. That will be scary yeah. for most of the females in the audience. Very tight. We had, you know, we had some light bulbs blow, some cameras go awry, some audio equipment not work. Everyone's like, ooh, of you know. And if you guys want to know what you're afraid of, do not miss Poltergeist in theaters May 22nd. Something's wrong, Mom.